everybody, Jim with Semi Trucks TV here. Today we're going to be looking at a 2011 Freightliner Cascadia. So uh, let's get started. Okay, here we go. 2011 Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, nice light blue color. Uh, looks pretty nice. Looking around at the front, the headlights are uh, really clear. Grill looks good. Uh, you got mirrors on both sides uh, of the hood. Road lights, tow hooks. Coming around here, aluminum wheels. Uh, we got Yokohama new steer tires, which is pretty nice. Uh, coming down through here, uh, it does have an APU, and it is a verified clean APU and a certified clean idle truck. Got the uh, got some nice uh, fairings here. Fuel tanks, uh, 100 gallons. Looking around at the at the top of the truck, I don't see any damage or anything uh, that would be a problem. A chain hanger coming through. Uh, nice Yokohama rubber on the on the rear, brand new. Aluminum wheels, airliner Freightliner suspension, sliding fifth wheel. Coming around back. Take a look down through here. We don't see uh, there's there's no rust, uh, really anywhere corrosion on this truck. The brakes look really good. This is the back axle brakes. As you can see, the pads are way over 50%, if not almost brand new. Coming around to the right side, uh, more aluminum wheels. These are uh, outer aluminum wheels. Uh, the inners are steel. Coming around to the APU, we have an APU with a DPF filter on it, so you don't get any any hassle from the carb Nazis. Uh, looking up in the back, you see uh, the the condenser for the APU mounted on the back. The control box uh, stack looks really good. I don't see any rust on the stack either. That's been really done good. Uh, coming around this side, another 100 gallon fuel tank. Uh, door doors are looking good uh, you got chrome chrome on the mirrors which is pretty nice uh, another brand new Yokohama in the front and uh, okay let's take a look at the end okay, taking a look under the hood here uh, we start by seeing the uh, got the air dryer the Webco air dryer uh, coming around looking at the suspension here everything's pretty clean front brakes look pretty good I don't see any rust, no corrosion, uh, which is really nice. Looking up at the engine, we got a Cummins, a 450 horse, ISX 15 liter. Around looking, I don't see any oil leaks, no water leaks. We're looking really good over here. Even the back firewall is uh, just a bare aluminum, but it, uh, there's no rust or no corrosion anywhere. Uh, let's go the, look the other side. Okay, coming around the right side. Uh, here we have the uh, we got the turbo, new style EGR cooler. Uh, this is a DEF motor, so the uh, the tank is underneath the driver's door there. The belts and hoses look good. Uh, right side suspension looking good. Brakes on the right uh, side look really good. No rust, no corrosion. I don't see any oil leaks, no water leaks. Again, belts and hoses are okay. Uh, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, uh, before we look at the inside, let me just pop this cover over here and show you. Uh, we got the def tank located right under the driver's door there. I'll uh, pull the door open and here we have the interior. Uh, this is a pretty nice interior on this truck. We got cloth seats. Uh, we have the cutoff switch, which is a nice feature coming on up uh, sit in the dash here what a good looking dash setup you got your your uh, usual uh, gauges with your uh, def indicator and inside your uh, here inside your fuel we'll have your def indicator to tell you the the level of the def tank uh, this also features a, a lane control 
here. Uh, here you have a regen for the tri-pack. That means you actually have a filter on your tri-pack which makes it totally carb legal. So that's a that's a real good thing. 10-speed transmission, dump, dump valve, uh, your interlock, and then uh, come on back here. Looking around back here, it is a double bunk. This is your top bunk, lower bunk. The nice cabinets here, both sides. You got some nice cabinets. Uh, windows up top, windows and uh, exit door down below on the right side. Left side, uh, more windows, top and bottom. Uh, controls for your APU right here. That makes it really nice. Uh, no carpet on the floor. I imagine you could put your own rug in here. But uh, this is a nice feature and keep your truck clean. And then uh, up top in the front, you got uh, your, your storage. So there you have it, uh, 2011 Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, this truck is showing about 388,000 miles on it. If you have any interest in this truck, uh, you can give me a call, Jim, at 760-701-0099 or reach me email, jim at semitrucks.tv. And if you do have a truck or a trailer you'd like to sell, uh, just send me an email, uh, give me a call, we can get it on and uh, make it famous. Thanks for watching. If you like the video that you just saw, please press like on, on the button down below. If you're on YouTube, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I have uh, lots of other videos available. And just remember, as you drive down the boulevard of life, may all your lights be green. We'll see you next time.